Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to set up the relationship between the user and the article. But in order to do that, what I will make use of is traits. So what are we going to do in our app folder right there? Just create a new folder and call this one traits like this. Okay. So in there, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new file and we're going to call this one has author dot php all right so that's the first trait and the other trait that we're going to create is going to be called model helpers so model helpers like this dot php okay this is basically responsible if we want to check if an author actually wrote an article so it's going to return a boolean value but this is going to help us actually match that all right so let's quickly set up our has author trait right here so let's open up our php tags php right and what we want to do is we want to create our namespace right so we got our namespace for our app traits the next one that we want to do is we want to create our trait right there okay so let's just do that now this one is going to be called has author all right so we're in that one now let's start off with the first one this is basically a public function and this will be an author and we're going to make use of our user model so just make sure you import it at the top right there and what this is going to do is just going to return uh, this author let me just actually fix this author relation let me just do like this relation all right, but we haven't created this method yet. All right, so let's just quickly not create it. So let's just create that. So this one is going to be called author relation. And this is going to be a belongs to relationship. All right, because an article belongs to a user. All right, so like this. And we're just going to return this belongs to. Right, belongs to, and then what we want to do is we want to bring in the user class, All right? But now this is important. If you guys, let me just quickly open my articles migrations, articles. This one right here. Let me just make it give us some room here. So if you made this a user ID like this, okay? If you made it a user ID, then in here just make it a user ID, or you can leave it empty. Okay, so leave it blank because by default, what Laravel will do, it will fill in that part right there. But since I put an author ID, because it makes sense if I read it in my database, I know what this is. Okay, so then I just reference the author ID like that. All right, so what we want to do, we want to close that off. The next thing that I want to do is I want to check if this article is authored by the particular user so let's quickly do a public function and we're just going to say is authored by so this one what it does it will check if we pass in the user it will just return a boolean value so let's just add a boolean it will return a boolean value with the other true or false statement saying yes this author actually wrote the article okay so we're going to create the matches method in a second but we're just going to say return this author right so the method that we created right there we're just going to return this author and then we're just going to create a method in a second called matches and the user so this matches method is the one that we're going to create in our model helpers right now okay so after that let's create another one and this one is actually the one where we can associate the article to a relevant user so, all right to the person that actually wrote the article so this one will actually assign say this article is written by this person okay so this is this is going to be responsible for that so in here what we want to do is we're just going to return this um, author relation this one right here and we want to associate it there it is with this author awesome all right so now that's all done so basically this is our has author trait all set up so this one just checks if the or this 
uh, person is the author, and this one assigns the author to an article. All right, and this is the actual relationship. But when you call on the author, it will actually call on this relationship right there. All right, so this matches right here. Let's quickly create that method. Okay, so let's quickly create our PHP like here and just create our namespace. Now, the namespace, in order to do that quickly in um, VS Code, you can control Alt and G, but I can actually show you if I right click. If we go, where is it? Somewhere here. Generate namespace for this file. Control Alt and G. All right, so there it is right there. Okay, so let's move on. Let's quickly create a trade. This one right here, and this one we're just going to call it model helpers. Like this. Now, in here, we just only need to create one method. And this method is basically the matches one. This one right here that we calling on okay so let's just quickly do that so public function and we're just going to call this matches all right so in this case i'm just referring to self now self is actual class that we're in in this case it will be the user class okay and then we're just going to say model and we're just going to say a boolean it just needs to return a true or false statement and then we're just going to say return this id we're going to check if it matches right this model id okay just like that awesome stuff so that's basically our model helpers now let's quickly open up our user model right here now what we want to do now is we just want to um just actually you can just add it at the end right here and model helpers right there and just make sure you import it Okay, so as you can see, where is it? As you can see, it imports it at the top. Now, the another thing that we want to do in here is we want to create a has many relationship in our user model. So this is basically going to be called articles, right? And this is going to be a has many relationship, right? Just make sure you import it at the top. As you can see, it's already imported. Let me just show you right there. Okay, so let's move on. All right, and what we're going to do, we're just going to say return this as many, all right, as many article clause, all right, and if you use the user ID, please specify it here, but you don't have to, but all right, because Laravel will automatically just assign the user ID in that case, but for us, since we I put it the author ID, I'm just going to put the author ID right there okay so that's our user model all set up now the next thing we need to do is we need to set up our article model so let me just quickly open it so in order to open that you go to app models right there so there's the user model and there's the article model okay so we just give us some room again now we don't need to add any of the relationships in here since we already created the trade for that okay so what i want to do now is i'm just going to say use as author Right, you can put this all in a single line like this as author. You can do this and other one model helpers. You can do all of that right here. Right, but I'm not going to do that. I like I like how it is like this. Just that's just my personal preference. Okay. So totally up to you, but this is what I'm going to do. Okay. Just like that. Right. So we has the has factory, has author, and he use the model helpers right there all right so there's basically our relationship set up between our article and our user right there all right so thank you guys for watching if you have any questions please ask them for me in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next one adios